Yeah. And the Ford starter, then that 302 starter, has a separate, it was kind of weird because they have that steel plate behind the motor. Yeah. And that centered the starter. Okay. Without the steel plate, it would bolt on the bells, and then you were in trouble. Okay. But that was kind of a weird way to say it. And you end up getting into the General Motors then with the solenoid starter, and that's misaligned then. Okay. You have to shim it all the time and do sh oh, that's so, right. some weird things about that, and people don't understand how to shim a starter. And uh, what about the starter hangs below the center of the center of the of the whole motor? Yeah, starter hangs. But the more you shim it down, the worse it gets. Right. Yeah. As long as we're talking about stars, what about the Chrysler star with the gear reduction? Chrysler star was a good starter. Yeah. There's one on this motor right here. No kidding. Yeah. So a late model Chrysler starter. Yeah. yeah. Some people hated the sound of it, but it worked well. Yeah, it worked well. Yeah, yeah. And they started good. It was it was a good starter. Yeah. Okay. There's. They were kind of difficult to fix. Oh, is that right? Yeah, there was a difficult to tear apart and put back together again. Okay. And the first ones I went to school in 1959 about that starter, so I know a little bit about it. You might know. Something. Yeah, I know a little bit about it when they first came out. But that was the first. Yeah, that's the first year they came out, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Sixty cars had them. Sixty had cars. Yeah.